hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I have another inexpensive super easy and glam DIY that will be a perfect gift for this holiday season I'm starting off with two of these long canvases and I am just going to be removing the canvas part from the board I will be removing this middle board from the center and also the small nail with my small pliers now taking two of these Christmas signs I will be removing the I will be removing this metal piece and I have two of these Halloween signs but if you cannot find these you can still use two more of the Christmas signs now taking the two Halloween signs, I am going to put those two in the middle and have the longer signs on each side of those. And using my wood glue, I am going to glue all of these pieces together. I'll be letting this dry for about four to six hours. Now that my piece is completely dry, I will be taking some white acrylic paint and I will be painting my entire jewelry box. And after three coats of paint, this is what it looks like. Now taking these two five inch mirrors and some fix all adhesive I will be gluing my mirrors to the center of my two Halloween boxes taking two of these picture hanging kits I will be using these as my jewelry holders I will be taking these small pliers and I will be straightening out the top of these now using some of this super glue gel I will be gluing these to the top of my long frames glued five of these hooks to either side of my long frames. This piece of one inch foam, I'm just going to be taking that and cutting it to the size of my one of my bottom box frames and measuring half an inch. I am going to cut strips of this foam. Using some of this microfiber towel, I am going to be gluing this edge down and then gluing a strip of my foam. Then gluing down the remaining pieces of foam, leaving a couple of centimeters in between each of the pieces of foam so that I can be able to glue my fabric in between each of the slices of foam. continue this process until I have covered all my pieces of foam and this section of my jewelry box will be my ring holders mirrored part of my box I am going to be gluing down a medium size hook on either side of my mirror taking this rub-on transfer gold foil sheet I'm going to be taking the bottom design
then you want to take something like a credit card and you want to rub that transfer to really adhere the entire design to your surface. Now here you can see that if you do not get a piece completely rubbed on, you could just go back and put a little bit more pressure and here's the final result. So here I have some of these small mirrored tiles that I got on Amazon and I will put the link for these in the description box below. Now taking some gems, I'm just going to be gluing those to the top of these hooks on this box just to add a little bit more glam to my jewelry box. Now using some of this Dollar Tree floral wire, I'm going to be cutting that to the length of my mirrored box and some of these pearls. So here as you can see, it is a perfect fit. Now taking this love sign that is part of the Dollar Tree Valentine's Day collection and this gold foil cardstock paper that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And using this multi-purpose cement that dries clear and is a quick hold, I found this at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to glue my love sign to the top of my jewelry box. So that is all for this DIY. Let me know down below what do you think about this jewelry display box and would you recreate it with the love sign and the lights or would you just leave it without? I think either way it is absolutely beautiful and it will be a perfect gift for any occasion. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.